Hi guys, Andrea Mills here. Um, we are into our second week of homeschooling for the 2017-2018 school year and a lot of you guys have asked me um, about my homeschool planner so I thought I would just show you guys what I made to use this year. I've tried a lot of different types of planners and um, last year I was using this three ring binder and uh, I thought it was pretty but I just I don't like the bulkiness of a big binder and I've tried using those little half like half size binders and I just don't like that either. I find myself, if this makes any sense, but I find myself rebelling against using my planner if it's bulky and I feel like it's a hassle to open it up and this is another weird thing, I don't know, maybe this is just me, but if it's got nice paper I, I feel less free to just like use it because I don't know why. I just like junkier stuff. Like I love using note cards for planning because they just seem disposable and I love using regular notebook paper because it's just less formal and I just need something less formal because if it's too formal then I feel like I I don't want to use it. I don't know. My, my mind rebels against that. So I try to take those things into account this year when I was working on my planner. So this is what I did this year. This is just some scrapbook paper and I printed out a, a title here and laminated it. And I used my um, comb binder to bind it together. So here's the things I love. It's flexible and you know like doesn't feel like a big deal to open it. And the next thing is that I bought eight and a half by 11 sheets of newsprint. So it's like coloring book type paper almost. It's not quite got that texture, but it's really thin and cheap, which makes me like it a lot. So for my first page here, I made just a whole year calendar using Microsoft Word. So I put in a table that went all the way across, all the way down for all my days. And then I took out the lines on these rows to make the divisions between. So like if you ever, ever made a table, you know, you can make it so you don't see lines. So that's all I did here to make this individual little calendar boxes. In the past, I've tried to make a different calendar for every month. So it'd be like a full page calendar that I flipped through, but I found myself never using that. It just was too, too much. So I decided this year just to go with the, all the whole year at a glance. And then all the days are color coded. I have my little chart down here. It's a birthday, uh, purple is a holiday. This is when we're having a school break, whether that be summer, or like this would be our Easter break right here. Our first and last days of school are marked with navy blue. So we have that one there. And our last day is right there. On Thursday, since it's always the first day of our school week, I put, um, rather than the actual date, I put the number for the week of school that we're starting that day. So I figured it's easy enough to see what the actual date is, but that would help me kind of keep track of what school week we were in. Brown is our date night. Gray is when we're going to do our live stream dinner with the Mills. Um, orange is the nights we go see Grandma Fern. The hot pink is when we have our clubs for the boys and girls that we do at home. Uh, yellow is something new I'm starting this month or this year hopefully is a monthly cooking day. Now the last couple of years I've used the second Wednesday of the month as a field trip day but I really miss the joy of like having my pantry filled up with stuff that I made. That's something I've always loved doing. If I had my way, every stick of furniture in this house would be home built. Every stitch of clothing would be homemade. Every stitch of food would be homegrown and um, home, you know, made from scratch just because I love doing it. I love, it just brings me joy. But the reality is we all only have 24 hours in a day. So I can't do it all. I'm not superwoman. So, and cooking is one of the things that I've had to put, like, I just had less time for it since I started my YouTube channel. But we're coming up on two years now, and I'm like, I really miss doing that. So I decided to take our um, field trip day and turn that into a monthly cooking day where hopefully I can spend time making all those things, or, you know, working on it. It'll probably take me the whole year to get, like, really into a good routine of producing what I need to produce but that's my goal this year 
and then um, we're gonna do the second Sunday I think it's just a family field trip day instead of doing it during the school week which is nice because then Tom can go with this I will still have to um, take a school day to do a few of the field trips that have to be done during a weekday so we'll see how that goes then the green is um, my monthly Walmart trip and then um, the light pink like right here those are days that I work on paperwork and pay the bills and we have our own business so I have to take care of business paperwork and things like that and then this purple one is magic Monday so the first Monday of the month we always play magic together so all of those things pretty much are already established routines I just went ahead and marked out so I can see for the whole year like where everything's gonna be and I've referenced this several times already you can see I forgot to color that one and so I had to get a colored pencil and color that little square but it's been actually really nice having everything right here so then after this my temptation is always to over plan things and then of course I rebel against it it doesn't happen so I thought the best planner I've ever used was those little um, like spiral bound notebooks that you can get at like a teacher supply store and it's a teacher planner and it has just big squares to write things in for like three maybe four sections for each day and I really like that because it gave me enough space to write but it wasn't overly complicated however it was missing some things that I need for home so I kind of modeled my planner this year on that style down the side here I have my routine like the time and what we're gonna be doing in a very general way there and then there's space all along so that if there's something particular I need to remember or do in that time I can write it in. Next is our breakfast and then in the morning we're doing our schoolwork and then we'll have our lunch break then in the afternoon doing activities and projects then we have supper then whatever we're gonna do as a family in the evening bedtime routine and what I'm gonna do in the evening so I have my good size squares for the the parts of the day where I would need to plan the most and then these are enough space to write in the menu or whatever for that meal and then I put little pictures to kind of remind what we're gonna do during that time so after lunch on Thursdays we're gonna play some PE games out in the yard and during that same hour on Fridays we're going to um, just play with our musical instruments our little play ones also on Fridays we will be working on different notebook projects together and that's basically all I did is I put a little reminder we always go grocery shopping on Thursday night while Tom gets pizza ready so I put a grocery thing there we always have pizza on Thursdays this is a read aloud time before bed so I've already done the whole year just like this this whole section has you know, every day for the whole um, next 52 weeks or whatever I have it planned out with the little pictures because we do everything routinely pretty much and it's I like the pictures because it's a reminder without being obtrusive so if we decide not to do it it's not a big deal I saw plenty of room to write in there but it gave that little bit of a reminder of what I wanted to do <laughs> during that time then I was trying out this idea of just putting our menu on these little removable um, sticky things so that I could maybe put these onto a laminated page and then reuse them later like as we go through the menu but I haven't actually got that whole detail worked out yet so I'm not sure but that's where we're right in the menu over the summer the kids have pretty much been making their own breakfast and lunch every day but I want to get back into making a hot lunch also besides supper so um, I'm using that space to plan out what we're gonna have for lunch also then at the top I went ahead and color-coded the days just like they were on that first um, page we use ACE curriculum so I don't need to actually plan out our our basic subjects the kids are all working independently on their own things and um, but if there's things that we're gonna do together or that I want to remember that's where this little these sections come in where I can write down that stuff so I don't forget also there's a couple of this was my Walmart shopping trip from the other day and I wanted to stop and get a couple other things so when I thought of them I went ahead and wrote them in my planner so when I was getting my list ready I had um, that information there so you can see I got week after week after week and listen to that flimsy paper I love it so my whole first section that's what this is then after 
this first planner section I put in a piece of black cardstock because that gives that uh, I can feel the divider pages easily without having to actually put a divider in so just like by feel I can grab and get to the next section then after that I made these pages that have my plans for my YouTube videos plans for things I want to do on my blog plans for things I wanted to make sure to post on Facebook and they're just basic lists and that seemed informal enough to me to make it workable so I'm not sure how many I put in there but probably a year's worth of pages like that next I wanted notebook paper just to write stuff but regular loose leaf notebook paper is smaller than eight and a half by eleven and I didn't like that so what I did is I took my little newsprint sheets and I printed lines on them just like notebook paper so it would be the right size but still be like notebook paper. There's you know, a whole section of my homemade notebook paper next and you know, work or a uh, list of things that I've talked about with the kids or I'll be able to use this for when I'm planning birthday parties or whatever and I can just tear the page out when I don't want it anymore. In my last section is stuff that we need to remember or re reference every week for doing our privilege system that we do and then the kids records I'll keep track of their school records and stuff like that in this section but we're just getting started so there's not really anything filled in yet but one other thing I wanted to do was to make it fast to find each child I like to put the little um we, we organize everyone by color so I like to put their little colored file tab but I didn't want it sticking out far because that would hinder my flexibility here so what I did was I put it on there on the back side but I just barely let's see if you can see it there I just barely let it stick over the edge and then I put a little piece of tape here and here to make sure it stayed down nice and tight so when I'm looking at the edge I can still grab the person I want without um, having to dig through but it doesn't like stick out far and then my last page is just a laminated piece of black cardstock and of course my instinct as I said is always to put more stuff in here like ooh, I could put um, I don't know there's just so many things like my other book has so many other things in it but then I won't use it so I try to think what is the most basic information or kinds of pages I can have in this book to make it really useful to me not overwhelming keep it literally physically flexible and mentally flexible and I'm really happy with this the one thing that I didn't do that I wish I would have let me show you is that well we we start our school weeks I know this is weird but we start our school weeks on a Thursday so I made every you know layout here to be Thursday Friday then the weekend Monday Tuesday Wednesday but I didn't put in a Saturday and Sunday because I thought well I don't need to plan those days but for meal planning, it's kind of annoying not having a Saturday and Sunday. So if I do the next, if I do this next year, I will probably make this column where I put the routine a little thinner, like make it a little narrower so that I could put maybe a narrow strip down the side that would have like Saturday and Sunday and I could still write in some things there for meal planning and if there's like some event coming up, I could just put a very basic um, thing in there. Now for the kids, um, I made each one of them, the, this is like five by eight note card, uh, plain note cards, and I made each one of them one of these little booklets um, to keep in their school binders. So they go for the whole year. Dark gray means we're having no school. Light gray means it's like a birthday so they can take the day off if they feel they um, don't need to do school. That's an optional day I guess I would just say. So each one of them has uh, down the side what school subject it is and they're slightly different from child to child. We have um, six kids that are homeschool age this year from 10th grade down to 1st grade and so each one of them has a slightly different um, list but it's the base, same basic layout for everybody. So then here I wrote, um, I made a spot so I can write in what I want them to try to do like this means 20 minutes on that or um, we might do you know four pages or whatever so that they see what my target is for them and then depending on how they do it they're either working their 20 minutes and then writing down what they accomplished 
here, or if it's pages, then they will write down the actual pages that they're assigned for that day. So we've got the whole year. Um, I guess we can go over this. They have, this is Judah's. He's got English, literature, Greek, math, social studies, science, word building, um, working on scripture memory, anything they need to do for privilege, like working on service projects or things like that. And then just one extra section for anything else that we might need to work on that doesn't have its own spot. So then um, it goes through for the whole school year. And these indicate the beginning of whatever that school week is. So this would be the seventh week of the winter term starts here on that day. So those are my two types of planners that we're using this year. Both of them are very simple and I'm really happy with um, how it's working out. I find myself reaching for my planner frequently to look up things or write things down and I can tell you that's not how I normally am with a planner. So I know I'm on to something so next year if I can just get that Saturday Sunday thing in there I think, I think this might be what I stick with from now on. Thank you guys so much for coming over and spend a few minutes with me today and um, keep watching. I've got so many videos that need edited, but I've been taking naps in the afternoon <laughs> instead of working and we're still working on getting all that garden produce canned and dealt with. Like I'm making pizza sauce today and it smells so good in this house. So I um, hopefully, hopefully, well, you never know. Hopefully gonna get those videos edited soon and up for you guys to see. And yeah, anyways, I am alive and well and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Hello.